Amid soaring tensions in the Middle East, Israeli police set up a concrete barrier Sunday between a Jewish and an Arab neighborhood in East Jerusalem. A police spokesperson said the slabs were placed there for security reasons, but didn't elaborate. Meanwhile, a month-long wave of violence intensified. In one of the boldest attacks yet, an Arab attacker armed with a gun and a knife opened fire in a southern Israel bus station, killing an Israeli soldier and wounding 10 people. Israel has taken unprecedented measures to try to quell the violence, deploying thousands of police backed by troops in Israeli cities and setting up checkpoints outside some Arab neighborhoods of East Jerusalem, where most of the attackers have come from. Clashes continued over the weekend between Palestinian protesters and Israeli security forces in the West Bank city of Ramallah. Protesters threw stones at Israeli troops who responded with tear gas and rubber bullets. At the Vatican, Pope Francis pled for calm, calling for courage and strength of spirit to stop the growing violence. In an attempt by the U.S. to quell the bloodshed, Secretary of State John Kerry plans to travel to the region this week to meet with both Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas. We are as deeply engaged as I can ever remember in trying to help resolve uh, some of these very complicated explosions of sectarianism and violent extremism. The wave of violence erupted a month ago, fueled by rumors that Israel is plotting to take over Jerusalem's most holy site. Since then, eight Israelis have been killed in Palestinian attacks, mostly stabbings, and 40 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli fire. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.